My business is called M Tutors and it provides tutoring services to students. I ensure that students are provided with the necessary supplies and equipment to learn. It opened in July 2020, and as the months went by, I have been purchasing assets, selling services to earn revenue, and paying off debts. Now, when I do a ratio analysis of my business, I was surprised with some of the results. For my current ratio, I divided my current assets by my current liabilities and got 2.5421. This means that my business is stable and I am doing very well. I can easily pay off short-term liabilities. For every dollar of current liabilities, my business has two and a half times more current assets. When subtracting my current assets by the prepaid expenses and then dividing that answer by the total current liabilities, I got 2.23 to 1 as my quick ratio. This shows that my business can pay off current debts within a short period of time easily from cash on hand. It means that it has a good immediate short-term liquidity. For my working capital, I subtracted my current assets by my current liabilities to get an amount of $18,617.09. Since my current assets exceed my current liabilities, the efficiency of operating as well as the financial stability of my business is very good. The working capital is higher than zero, so it has the potential to invest and grow to become successful later on. There is a smaller chance that I can go bankrupt or have trouble paying back creditors. After dividing my business's net loss by its average assets, I got a percentage of negative 0.26 as my return on assets. I was really surprised to see this value because, as opposed to the previous calculations, this tells managers, analysts, and investors an idea as to how I produce profits. By the look of the percentage, it shows that I do not manage the use of the assets to earn revenue efficiently. If I compare with other businesses, the average is a minimum of 5%. Therefore, having a negative 0.26% as my return of assets makes my business look bad. But since I recently opened a business in July, I might get more customers when the school year starts. To calculate my debt ratio, I divided the total liabilities by the total assets, multiplied the answer by 100, and got 77.64%. Then, when I calculated my equity ratio, I got 22.36%. This is really bad for my business because my equity ratio should be at least 50%. What I calculated shows that I use more borrowed money instead of my own money to pay for the assets for my business. It means that I am more leveraged and am more at a financial risk. If other people see these percentages, it will be difficult for my business to obtain any loans from banks or financial institutions. After doing a ratio analysis of my business, I realized a few things that I should have done when my business first started. I should have reduced the amount of assets purchased. I should have tried to get more customers so that there are more sales transactions to generate more revenue. This would have increased my return on assets percentage. Additionally, I should have put less account payables and less money in the bank loan. This is the reason why my debt ratio is so high compared to my equity ratio. I owe the bank $80,785. It's crazy! So if I will ever start a business in the future, I need to keep in mind not to have too many liabilities. In my memo, I asked for a bank loan of $14,600 to buy textbooks. Buying textbooks will benefit students because some information found in these books are not found online. I tried my best to convince the loan officer that my business deserves this loan. I wrote that I ensure that quick payments from customers are received and that longer payment terms from suppliers are arranged. This is so that I can pay off the debts faster. When writing about my return on assets, my debt ratio, and my equity ratio, I provided explanations to try to make my business's percentages seem better. I mentioned that since I opened in July, school did not start yet, so there were not as many customers. However, now that it is the month of October, I have about 50 students wanting to sign up next week. This is due to the fact that COVID-19 has made it difficult for students to learn online, so parents want their kids to get extra help to catch up. Furthermore, in the last paragraph, I asked to have an opportunity to talk with a loan officer, so hopefully they will contact me soon. To improve my business, I will pay for more advertisements to get more customers so that I can earn more revenue. My main focus would be to gain as much revenue as I can by providing more services and by having less debts to pay. I will frequently do a ratio analysis to identify areas in my business that require focus in order to maintain liquidity and profitability. There are many things that can be done to improve M-Tutors. However, I learned during all the assignments that the key to success for any business is to effectively manage your assets and your liabilities while providing excellent customer service.